We still have a ways to go in the 2025 hurricane season. We've still got to get through the rest of October and all of November. Then we can rest easy, at least until the next hurricane season. Take a breather and hopefully be saying we didn't get hit this season. So far, so good in Houston, but of course, things can change quickly. So keep checking back and we will let you know what's going on. I want to do something a little different today. I want to start off with the anniversary of what was a super powerful and dangerous, deadly hurricane. And it was exactly one year ago from today. Which one am I talking about? Well, it's Hurricane Milton. We're looking back on the 2024 Gulf Coast landfalls, and this was a whopper of a hurricane. Exactly one year ago today in Siesta Key, Florida, Hurricane Milton made landfall as a Category 3 peak intensity while it was still in the Gulf, 180 miles per hour, believe it or not. That's a Category 5. So it was a super powerful hurricane in the Gulf at its lowest pressure, its strongest, it was all the way down to 895 millibars. That ties Hurricane Rita for the lowest pressure ever recorded in the Gulf. So this system meant business. It produced historic rainfall and flooding across Florida. Major tornado outbreak occurred and more than 40 people were killed, unfortunately, in between Mexico and the U.S. And it cost around $34.3 billion. So this was a major one. You can see where it developed in the southwestern Gulf. Didn't look like much at first, but it quickly rapidly intensified into a Cat 2, then a Cat 4, then a Cat 5 as it made its way east. Then it took a turn to the northeast and made landfall exactly one year ago today, just south of Tampa, north of Cape Coral in Florida as a Category 3. So that was certainly a very bad one. We haven't had anything hit the U US like that this year. We're fast forwarding to this season, 2025, and you can see that we've had 10 named storms out there four of those becoming hurricanes and three becoming major hurricanes. So right now we're dealing with Tropical Storm Jerry. No signs of a Karen, Lorenzo, Melissa or Nestor on the way just yet. But of course, we are keeping a close eye on the entire Atlantic Basin. But we've had the 10 named storms, four hurricanes, three major hurricanes, a little behind our average for named storms and hurricanes. But major hurricanes, we are right there. Typically, we get about three and we've had three so far for this season. Now our focus is on Tropical Storm Jerry. Tropical Storm warnings have been placed now for the northern Leeward Islands. It was a Tropical Storm watch. Now it's a Tropical Storm warning. Jerry making a close approach today and tonight to some of those northeastern Caribbean islands like St. Thomas, Guadalupe, and it will make a sharp turn to the north and likely pass east of Bermuda early next week. Good news for us, no threat whatsoever to the U.S. It was the 10th name storm of the Atlantic hurricane team that you can see it spinning there close to the lesser Antilles winds up to 65 miles per hour moving fairly quickly west northwest at 18 miles per hour but here's the good news for the US there's that sharp turn to the north and good news for Bermuda as well earlier in the week it looked like it may be a much closer call for Bermuda but it should stay a little bit more to the east and past Bermuda Sunday into Monday as a category one hurricane. So the good news with Jerry, it's not going to make a direct landfall anywhere. It's going to brush by the Northern Leeward Islands, pass safely east of Bermuda and stay far away from the US, which is great news for us. I want to show you the track of Tropical Storm Jerry. You can see it there near the Northeastern Caribbean Islands. Maybe some heavy rain for parts of Puerto Rico, but no major impacts from this. Then it takes a turn to the north and it will head towards Bermuda early next week. There's only one other system out there that we're monitoring and this one is way up in the North Atlantic. It's the area highlighted in yellow. That's where we have a very low chance for tropical or subtropical development. This is very close to the Spain area or getting closer to Spain instead of the U.S. So not expecting this to head anywhere close to the United States. It is moving north. Only a slim window for some tropical development here as it pushes into the colder water of the North Atlantic that won't last for long. So now our attention turns to Central America. I've been talking about this Central American gyre. This is basically a big sprawling area of low pressure that could help to generate 
smaller areas of low pressure that could turn into tropical systems. So we did have one little wave in the southwestern Gulf. That one made landfall, but now we're looking to see if anything else is going to head our way. This setup will likely be around for at least a few more weeks. So there could still be some development with that Central American gyre. But the good news is that the one disturbance we had in the southern Gulf made landfall last night in southern Mexico, and it is no longer an issue, no longer a chance for any tropical development with that one. So what else is going on in the Gulf? Well, we've got plenty of warm water. It may be getting closer to the middle of October, but those water temps are still very warm, definitely warm enough to fuel any additional tropical systems that want to try to mess with us. Temps in the middle 80s for much of the Gulf and for the Western and Northwestern Caribbean. So there's still a chance we could have some development here for the remainder of October. Name storms tend to pass through the Northwest Caribbean and the Western Atlantic. However, we are going to see that chance drop likely as we go into November. So if we can just get through a few more weeks with nothing happening for the Texas Gulf Coast, I think we are looking pretty good for the rest of this season. You can never say never, but you know, for November, typically, as you can see, there's not much of a chance for tropical development in the Gulf. If we get anything in November, it's usually around the Western or Central Atlantic and maybe the West side of the Caribbean. So we're watching things close, but right now we are looking Looking good. We do have, of course, a little less than two months to go for our 2025 hurricane season, but nothing heading towards Houston or the Texas Gulf Coast. In fact, the Gulf is quiet once again. We do have tropical storm, Jerry, but it will stay safely away from the U.S. So keep checking back. I'll let you know if there's anything to worry about. But for now, things are looking pretty good. We'll have more Texas live and local after this.